Hello dear friends, let's talk a little about cervical cancer. So cervical cancer is actually a cancer related to uh, cervix that's the mouth of the uterus. It's not that cervical cancer just occurs one fine day, it's not like that. Cervical cancer has a preceding 10 to 15 years of stages called as precancerous conditions which can be comfortably being identified uh, and you know it can be treated very comfortably. So WHO came up with a slogan that's World Health Organization came up with a slogan of 1970-90 pertaining to getting a elimination drive of from cervical cancer. So the elimination drive is less than 4 per 100,000 women affected by cervical cancer in any given population at any given area by 2030. So they brought up a slogan for that, that's 90-70-90. 90 percent coverage of girls with vaccination of HPV. Cervical cancer is caused by a virus, that's human papilloma virus. So when it's caused by a virus, you do have a protection vaccines available for that. So the vaccines is an HPV vaccine which has been given to girls from 9 to 14 years of age, uh, two doses. Now comes up the secondary prevention. Now what's the secondary prevention? 70% coverage of women from the age group of say 30 to 65 years uh, screening themselves uh, for the HPV. Now because this cancer is caused because of a virus, it's always important to understand the status of HPV in their own body, right? But having an HPV doesn't mean you have a cancer. So that's one thing of a great importance for you all to understand that having an HPV doesn't mean a cancer but yes, having an HPV you come to know further about the risk stratification but still there are then those tests which we do to understand whether your organs are having certain changes or atypical changes. So that's like coverage of 70% of the women from the age group of uh, 30 to 65 Undergoing this test, it's a simple test, absolutely simple test. The white discharge, you know, the brush is being rotated on the cervix and the cells are being taken and it's like um, uh, screened for HPV DNA. Because HPV DNA, uh, you know, it has to be screened every five years at the age of 35 and at the age of 45, that is twice in the lifetime, in the reproductive age group to get yourself screened with the high performance test with this HPV. And suppose if you are screen positives, now what is our fear? Absolutely the fear is if I am screen positive, what am I to do? So that's something which is really shaky, you know, and candidates do not want to get themselves screened because they really understand if suppose something really happens to me, what am I to do? So there's nothing, no fear absolutely dear friends because if you are HPV positive there are various tests which you can do. If you have done and you found yourself positive, you are lucky isn't it? That you came to know about this right at the very early stage which was very easily treated with an OPD based procedures. So that's the slogan that is 90% with vaccination, 70% with screening. And then 90% whenever there is screen positive, these 90% of these screen positives being treated and tested, that's it, dear friends. So, um, I've been talking about a little bit of an HPV test. There are plenty of tests available in the market, but uh, I would want here to caution that uh, WHO has come up with certain uh, HPV tests which are validated. Kindly. Uh, you know, look into that validated test which are being recommended by World Health Organization. Go to your doctor, you know, ask for these validated tests.